Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to derive the wave equations for propagation of TE waves in rectangular waveguide. In the previous video, I have explained about the propagation of waves in the TM wave. So, TM wave, we have calculated four different equations EX, EY, HX and HY. In the similar way, here also we are going to calculate the, those four equations EX, EY, HX and HY. But here we are going to calculate the same equations for TE wave. Okay. And TE and TM, TEM, these are the different types of modes that a wave can travel in the waveguide, rectangular waveguide. But uh, TEM wave does not exist because EZ and HZ both components are zeros. So that there is no wave equation will be existed. So TE and TM are the different types of modes that a wave can travel in the rectangular waveguide. So now what do you mean by TE? Transverse electric. TE is nothing but transverse electric. TE stands for transverse electric. That means the wave which travels perpendicular to this electric field, that wave will be existed and this electric field component is equal to zero. Okay, that means EZ is equal to 0 and HZ is a non-zero value. That is the meaning of T wave. T wave is nothing but the electric field component in the direction of propagation is equal to 0 and magnetic field is a non-zero value. What do you mean by Z? I already told you Z is nothing but direction of propagation. So here we have taken a rectangular waveguide. We have taken a rectangular waveguide such that the breadth is along x axis and width is along y axis. This is width B and this one is breadth A. And this rectangle is in this way. Now in which direction the rectangular waveguide has been placed? In the direction of Z. That means in the direction of propagation. So Z indicates the direction of propagation of the wave. Wave will be going like this. <coughs> okay. Now, with these assumptions Ez is equal to 0 and Hz is equal to 0, already we know the wave equation, standard wave equation delta square Hz is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon Hz. So, just expand what is delta square. Already I told you in the propagation of waves in a rectangular waveguide, delta square is nothing but it indicates both uh, x and y directions and as well as z direction. So, delta square do, uh, do square by do x square plus do square by do y square plus do square by do z square. Now, after substituting and uh, simplifying this equation, we will get already I told you this uh, derivative part in the propagation of waves in rectangular waveguide. Okay, so do square by do x square hz plus do square hz by do y square plus this one becomes do square hz by do z square okay so we know this already h square into hz is equal to 0 see here we are just assuming the do square do by do z as gamma and gamma plus gamma square plus this omega square mu epsilon that is treated as h square. So all these assumptions we have uh, made. So after that we have got this equation finally. Now in order to simplify this equation take a two variable method. Okay same process whatever we have done in the case of TM waves, the same method we are following. There also I have taken EZ is equal to X into Y. Here also I will consider the same two variable method. So to solve this equation, to solve this differential equation, 
to solve this differential equation assume assume hz is equal to some x into y x into y what is x and what is y x is a function of x and y is a pure function of y already same case x is nothing but a pure function of a pure function of small x and y is a pure function of small y okay so after substituting that in this differential equation do square x y by do x square plus do square x y by do y square plus h square x into y is equal to 0. Now, do square x y, here it is do square x into y by do x square. In these two x and y, which is a function of x, x. So, keep x here and take y outside because x is a derivative with respect to x and y is having a derivative with respect to y. In this, x is constant. So, y into do square x by do y square sorry do x square plus x into do square y by do y square plus h square x y is equal to 0. Take x y common then 1 by x do square x by do x square plus 1 by y do square y by do square y by do y square plus h square is equal to 0. Now, just therefore xy will be going to the other side. Therefore, the final equation will be 1 by x do square x by do x square plus 1 by y do square y by do y square plus h square is equal to 0. So again assume assume 1 by x do square x by do x square is equal to mi minus b square <coughs> and similarly 1 by y do square y by do y square is equal to minus a square. What happens then? That is equal to h square equal to a square plus b square. h square equal to a square plus b square. Okay. So, just we have taken the standard uh, equation of definitional equation for this uh, TE wave. So, T e wave is nothing but Ez is equal to 0, Hz is a non-zero value. So, Hz is a non-zero value means it is existed. That's why delta square, delta square Hz, it is for T e wave. This is for T e wave. Okay. So, delta square Hz is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon Hz. After simplifying this, why I am not discussing, I have already explained this in the uh, propagation of waves in rectangular wave grid. Okay. Once go through that, if you don't, if you have any doubt, if you don't understand why we have got this h square. h square is nothing but here. Since I am writing h square is equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon. Okay. Where gamma is equal to do by do z it is nothing but operator in the direction of z do by do z z is uh, gamma is nothing but operator in the direction of z okay so in order to get this uh, vx ey hx hy we can we need to solve this e differential equation okay so in order to solve this equation we are going for two separate variable method the separate variables we are taking x into y so, hx is equal to, hz is equal to x into y. So, finally, we have got this uh, 
differential uh, finally the differential equation is modified as h square is equal to a square plus b square now the solutions of this x and y can be obtained by using boundary conditions okay so that means ordinary second order differential equation we need to use and uh, by substituting the boundary conditions we will get the solutions for the x and y so right here the solution of <coughs> x and y <coughs> can be obtained by using ordinary second order differential equation let x is equal to c1 that means after simplification of this a square and b square c1 cross bx plus c2 sin bx and y is equal to c3 cos a y plus c4 sin a y okay so whatever we have taken 1 by x square 1 by x into <coughs> this one this one so 1 by x into dou square x by dou x square that is equal to minus b square and 1 by y dou square y by dou y square equal to minus a square so after simplifying these two equations we will get the equations for x and y like this where c1 c2 c3 c4 are some constants okay so where c1 c2 c3 and c4 are constants so finally what about hz hz is equal to it's a multiplication of x into y as we have assumed in the previous case so c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx into c3 cos ay plus c4 sin ay <coughs> take this as equation 1 so this is our equation where on which we need to apply the boundary conditions okay now our aim is to calculate c1 c2 c3 c4 these are the four constants we need to calculate once if we are able to calculate these four conditions uh, this hz will come okay so after that we will be taking the ex ey hx hy equations from the basic standard notations and after that we will substitute this hz equation <coughs> okay so to simplify this we will go for boundary conditions i will explain boundary conditions in the next video thank you